Hey guys, welcome to another Server for Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the My Permissions plugin. So this is a great alternative to Permissions X and Luck Perms, which you may have seen before. And I see a lot of comments with players not really understanding permissions or asking to go over it. So this is a great plugin for those people who want to start using one of these plugins. So a permissions plugin basically allows you to designate certain players and groups to have certain permissions, such as being able to join a minigame, such as being able to fly, change creative mode, do all of that sort of stuff, or perform pretty much any command. So if I were to type in chat like so, you can see I have a nice little prefix beside my name indicating that I'm a staff member and therefore have a certain level of privilege and you can make as many groups as you want and make different permissions per group. So if I were to forward slash group and then create, we can create a brand new group and this is just going to be called player. Once I've done that, we can actually customize it a bit by adding a prefix and a suffix. So if we do forward slash group set prefix uh, for player, and this one is going to be just square brackets, player, and then square bracket. As you can see, that looks terribly boring. Uh, it's just white. We can customize it with color codes in a little bit in a GUI, which I'm gonna show you. And then obviously we can do the same thing with a suffix, set suffix player, and this one's gonna be Hello. So now that we've done that, we can do group, add, and then player. And this allows us to add permissions. So each plugin has probably quite a long list of permissions. And if you go to the Spigot page or just Google it, you should be able to find them. As an example, I'm on the Essentials X website. And as you can see, there is a long, long list of permissions here that you can add to a player's group. So what we're gonna do is add the teleport command. So what we need to do is just copy and paste that, go back in game, paste it in here, hit enter, and it says the permission essentials.tp was added to the group player. So if I want to join this group, what we can do is group add player, my name, and then we want to add ourselves to the player group. So now we're added to that. And then if we do group get groups, and then my name, it shows me what groups I'm actually in. So I'm in three different ones, so I would share the permissions that are in each of these groups. Uh, but obviously I don't want to be in all of them, so we can remove ourselves from that group by doing forward slash group, remove player, ltgym from mod, and also staff. So as you can see, here's my prefix, here's my suffix. It looks pretty boring, but that is what it would look like. So another useful command is the forward slash group set default, and then obviously player. So when a brand new player joins the server, they will be initiated into this group. So now if we do forward slash group and then config, and then player, this is a really handy command. So you can customize the configuration in a nice GUI. So you can change the prefix and suffix here. So if we hit prefix, a sign's gonna pop up and we can actually jazz this up a little bit more than we had um, by adding color codes. So if you don't know what the color codes are, we can have a look on this website. Pretty much Google it and find it on any website, but each color is designated with a certain hex code, chat code, MOTD code. Um, just replace the symbol with the and sign and you'll be good to go. So as you can see, there's quite a few to choose from. And then there's also other format codes which will add an underline, italic, strike through, etc. So just choose whichever one you want. So I'm gonna go nice and simple, just and a player, and then and seven, which is a nice gray, square brackets, hit done, and then you can see it has been changed. If I type in chat, we now have a really nice colored prefix. Now if we obviously repeat the config command, we can go back in here and we can click this button to add a permission and this makes it a lot easier because it shows you some of the permissions in here. It doesn't show all of them unfortunately, but we've got PVP manager for example, placeholder API, um, just some of the plugins I currently have installed that I could click and then that adds it to the group. And then finally down here you can toggle OP. So certain groups might come with automatically being opt or deopt if you then get deranked from the server. And then we have set default group which we have obviously done. So there we go. That is how you would customize it in game. We're going to head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. 
So here we are in the SMP Picnic control panel and as you can see there's a few different folders and a couple of files. There is nothing in these two really you don't need to worry about. Um, the only thing is if you want to set up a web server with this plugin you don't have to do that, I didn't. So the other thing we can do is go into groups and there's a folder for each of the groups and down here the default is obviously the player group that we set in game. So if we were to go in player for example, there's only a couple of things in here. There's just data, so this is just going to list the players and the prefix and whether they're op or not. And then permissions is literally going to list all of the permissions so you could potentially just copy and paste from a website in here and that would add them to the plugin. Now the last thing I want to show you in game is the forward slash permissions command and that allows you to add a specific permission to a player. So this could be essentials.fly for example um, and that would give it to a specific player. Obviously I'm op so I already have that so I can't get it but you could do that for certain players for whatever reason. So here we are on the bucket page you can see it's updated to 1.19.3 and if you want more help there is a wiki page which is pretty handy this shows you all the group commands, the permission commands, and if you want a web interface, how to set that up. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.